Hey guys, how you doing? Today is a wonderful day because I'll be working again on my C. What I want to show you today is another delete. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me uh, for another delete on the C and today I decided to remove this guy right here because it's actually not working and um, it's giving me some problems. So I want to show you what happens if you delete this and what are the common issues for this item which is called the vacuum tank or vacuum pump so you got three lines coming out of this so you got this one right here it says M you got another one saying F which goes here and you got this here where you you have a positive and negative connection so I got the hoses here, I already removed it. So you got a couple colors here. You get a black and white, black and blue, and black and red. If you if we look at the at this diagram, you can see that the one that says SV8 is the one that goes here, right? Then you got another one in the middle that goes into the firewall because you're looking at this line right here yes that's the engine room in car so that hose goes into the firewall and then you got another hose so the firewall one is this one that says F and then you want to know you have another one that goes directly into the intake manifold and it's this one that goes here so basically um, you know that the AC system this couple of bands right here are managed by vacuum you got like small actuators this one's right here so it's like a like a combo so when you open the 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 face bands that go straight to your face then some open some closes like it's it's like a passage of air what happened is when you got a vacuum leak or you have you have something bad with the with the backing system, they're not gonna work right. So a common issue when the when the vacuum tank is bad is that you got the AC on, and for some reason you only have air coming out the outside air. I would say the the one that go the air that goes into your windshield. So you got only air and hot air coming through that vent. So what happened is. When this guy is bad, it's not creating vacuum for this uh, water valve right here. So what this water valve does is it opens and let the coolant go inside the heater core, inside the car, so you can have um, heated air. So when this guy is bad, so you're going to have that issue. And also, you're not going to have vacuum to close certain vents inside the system. So because I had these, these guys, um, it's, it's bad, like it went out and actually it looks ugly. I don't really like how it looks in the car and everything that it's taking space of my car, I'm, I'm going to remove it. So what I did is very simple. I'll be showing you in the car. So I bypassed the hose that goes to the intake manifold into this one. So I bypass the one going inside the car with the manifold and I deleted the whole system. Also this valve, I want to have it closed all the time because I don't wanna, I don't wanna have coolant going inside the heater core because here in Florida, it's very hot all the time. So what I only need is AC. So I'm going to the car and I will show you how I deleted and the, the little mods I did. So here we are again. This vacuum tank, it's supposed to be right there and it's held by one bolt, one 10 millimeter. So what I did is this hose that goes into the M used to be here. This connection right here. Then the hose that goes in here, this one goes directly into this valve right here. 
this valve what it does is when it's open it lets coolant go inside the car into the heater core so because I'm deleting the vacuum tank I just um, close the valve using a zip tie um, it holds the, the valve from the bottom and the other hose that goes into the firewall it used to be this hose right here this hose used to go directly into the vacuum pump so what I did I cut it and I bypassed it directly into the intake manifold so I got the vacuum needed inside the car which actually increased by a lot I can tell the vacuum is much better so I I had this one bad this guy right here and like I said I, I want to remove everything that's taking space on my car so one two boom goodbye and a lot of hoses we don't like a lot of hoses on the Z so goodbye there you go guys thank you for watching please please subscribe to my channel because that's very important for me because I know that you want my content and if you want to see more like this let me know in the description look at my C little by little trying to make it look better see ya